Hi there, how are you doing? This is Toby and after a while I'm back with my screencast training sessions in OpenFoam. Today we want to talk about shell speed up. What I mean there is how can you improve or speed up actually everything you do in OpenFoam. And this training video is very simple and short and I just want to show you what I am doing on my computer with uh, bash functions to speed up the workflow with OpenFoam. For now on, I expect that you are always uh, working in the terminal um, rather than working like this one. You are going to your OpenFoam case, you open your files and you manipulate these files and change everything according to your needs. So for example, if you have this snappy hex mesh dictionary, you have to add all the regions you have or all the STL files, everything you would like to, to have here. You have to type all this crazy thing. Each time you are doing an, a new meshing, you have new geometries, you have new designs. Uh, suddenly there is some something changing in these STL files naming uh, you get like additional STL files you get new patches additional patches whatever you have always to change things in these files by hand and I hope uh, you are preferring to use the terminal rather than uh, uh, clicking here because this gets boring and is not really fancy but of course you can do it if you would like to do it like this but uh, this training video is not meant for people or it's, it's not directed to people who are doing it like this this uh, video is for people who are using the terminal and some shell environment so okay we will mesh the following geometry right now I am in the project folder shell speed up as you can see here and inside this folder we only have one subfolder called CAD. Inside this CAD folder I have only files related to the geometry and for my workflow the only thing which is very important is that I do have like CAD, STL and inside this STL there are the single STL files which represent later on a patch in OpenFoam. I just want to show you which geometry I am meshing now in this demonstration video. Just change the color here. Um, some green and this this surface I don't know this one so as you can see we have like three different surfaces we have an inlet surface this blue uh, green one is like uh, the surface called walls and this purple one is uh, inlet okay so far so good now we have to mesh this stuff and I want to use snappy hex mesh and the only thing I have to do is to type in three commands. The first one is build region STL. The second one is build snappy hex mesh STL. And at the end, I just call the application snappy hex mesh. While I'm doing this, you directly see that snappy hex mesh starts out of the box and it, it will mesh the geometry and it's done and I didn't do actually anything so if we are checking out the our numerical mesh we can see oh yeah everything went fine we already have the numerical mesh for our domain or design of course now we can make improvements but we have already all patches here this is the inlet this is the atmosphere and the rest are the walls and of course it's all 
it's already snapped now we see okay we can make some improvements to this to, to the mesh but it doesn't matter here at the moment the only thing that matters is that you see how fast i was in creating this this mesh the first mesh and um, the steps i have to do to create the first mesh are always the same so therefore i wrote a bash function which is doing all these things that i have to repeat every day a few times and this really saves a lot of time and <laughs> makes it even more fun to work with and if there is some changes in the geometry it's no problem for me i just I just use my functions and it's done. So finally, I just remove everything and give you a, a hint again what the single two functions are doing. So we are at the start point again. We don't have anything related to OpenFoam. The first command I was using was build region STL. So we can see this has, this function is creating a new folder now we will check what it is actually this folder constant has a subfolder included and a new file this file consists of these three single files actually this function is doing nothing more than taking the name of this STL putting the name into this STL file and then combining all these single STL files into one that's how this function is working build snappy hex mesh actually is doing the following we see we have a lot of new folders so it creates the background mesh and also adds the system folder and all files related to execute snappy hex mesh so we have the control dict we have the compose part dict this is actually not needed, but when I do have uh, larger uh, cases, I can directly decompose everything, nothing special. Uh, the more fancy thing is that if I go to the snappy hex mesh tick, everything is already in. You can see this command manipulates the snappy hex mesh dictionary already in a way that it includes all the patches. It includes where to look or the name of the geometric representation data so this region STL which is under constant tree surface it also adds automatically all the names and furthermore it also adds the refinement surface everything which is inside here is, is ready to run the only thing what I have to do later on is to say okay I want to refine the walls with the level 2 rather than level zero and also i can already change different patches um, or surfaces you know to different types of, of of patches so even this you can make um or you you can create your function your patch function in a way that it is automatically chosen so for example just think about inlet the word inlet so you can say each patch which includes the word inlet or intake or whatever will automatically um, set to the type patch i didn't do that but maybe i will do it in future because i always have like ports where something is going in i name them inlet or inlet one inlet two inlet three um it doesn't matter but as you can see everything is already finished and now if i make snappy hex mesh again or if i run snappy hex mesh again it's actually the same setup we had previously but now i decided to refine the all surface which belong to the walls and uh, in a, a level of two and while checking out this new mesh we will see that it is more it is much better related to geometric representation especially here the support and for me this mesh is already a 
a good one to start with numerical investigations. Of course, um, there are still a few things we can modify or manipulate or whatever. But you see, within a few minutes, I created my first mesh and then I made an optimization loop with the mesh uh, setup. And this is how I am doing my meshing process very for me it's very smart i had to investigate a few time for building these functions but at the end um it's really nice and i never never will do it in a other way around so i hope uh, you get like uh, some ideas about using bash functions uh, to speed up your yeah actually open foam handling and your speed up in in doing different things however writing bash functions itself is not a a topic related to cfd open foam it's related to linux systems to your shell environment and therefore i will not talk about this stuff uh, in this training video or even later on in future so maybe if there's a request about different things, please make a comment and I will think about if it's worth to do something like this. But I guess there are a lot of functions or let's say videos and descriptions related to writing functions in Bash or in the C shell or whatever shell you are using because this is always differently. So I hope you enjoyed. Like the training video and get like an impression how how things can be speeded up even though just think about more more things like you want to change your time step or you want to change all the version schemes to gauss upwind you can make a function which is doing everything for you with then you, you don't have to yeah type things in you are faster, you don't make mistakes, there are no typos, errors in writing or something like this. So keep forming guys. I try to push my YouTube channel a bit more in the next few months and see you.